Looking for the best bang for the buck smartphone but don't have that much to splurge? Don't know what to pick or where to start? Well, you're in luck because today, we're doing that just for you. Hi guys, CJ here and our team has done the research and made the list so you don't have to. We're back at it again with our quarterly list of the best smartphones below 15,000 pesos. Whether you're looking for a nice design, good performance, great display, or simply the best in battery, we've got it all here. Before we proceed in this list, just a little note. All included here are the phones released in the second quarter of 2024 and have a suggested retail price of just under 15,000 pesos. And if you're ready, let's dive right in to find you a deal. First on this list is the Vivo Y100. This phone features a 6.67-inch FHD Plus AMOLED display with a refresh rate of 120Hz. It's powered by a Snapdragon 685 chipset. It has 8GB of RAM paired with up to 256GB of UFS 2.2 storage. Users may expand storage up to 1TB through a microSD card if they find this lacking. The Y100 has dual rear cameras which include the 50MP main shooter and 2MP depth sensor. For selfies, users will get an 8MP front camera. The cameras can shoot videos at a resolution of 1080p at 30 frames per second. However, the highlight of the Y100 is its battery. It packs a 5000mAh battery with 80 watts of fast charging support. And our PC Warp Work 3.0 battery test, our review unit lasted a whopping 16 hours and 8 minutes. It also provided us with 21 hours and 40 minutes of playback in our video loop test. The Vivo Y100 also offers 7 hours and 19 minutes of gameplay. We can vouch that this smartphone is a solid choice if you're looking for an affordable daily driver. As mentioned in our review, it has a beautiful display, nice audio, and outstanding battery life for its price. The Vivo Y100 has a price tag of 13,499 pesos for the 8GB plus 128GB variant, while the 256 version costs 14,999 pesos. Next, we have the Infinix Note 45G. It sports a 6.78-inch FHD Plus AMOLED panel and a Dimensity 7020 chipset. The Note 40 has 12GB of base RAM and 512GB of internal storage. For optics, the Note 40 is equipped with triple rear cameras. These consist of a 108MP main, a 2MP sensor, and unspecified AI shooter. It also comes with a 32MP front camera. The Note 40 takes surprisingly good shots considering its price range and can shoot up to 2K resolution at 30 frames per second. In addition, the phone has an ultra-steady stabilization mode locked at 1080p video recording. The phone has a 5000mAh battery, 33 watts of wired charging, and 15 watts of wireless charging with the Infinix Man charge. From our experience, it offered 13 hours for general use and multitasking and 16 hours for multimedia consumption. I should mention that the Infinix Mag Kit comes with the device. This includes the Mag Pad and a nice case that supports its wireless charging feature. Our consensus is that the Infinix Note 45G is a great pickup for users who want a thrifty all-around device. The Huawei Nova 12i has a 6.7-inch FHD Plus IPS panel with a refresh rate of 90Hz. Powering this device is of Snapdragon 680 chipset and up to 256GB of internal storage. It features dual rear cameras consisting of a 108MP main and a 2MP depth sensor. At the front, it offers an 8MP front camera. For recording, the Nova 12i can shoot clips in 1080p at 30 frames per second. Here are our sample shots from the Huawei Nova 12i. The phone runs on a 5000mAh battery with 40 watts of wired fast charging. As per our review, the phone is good for 16 hours and 56 minutes for daily use. The phones also advertise to get 62% of battery available within half an hour of charging. Bottom line, the Huawei Nova 12i is a minimal beauty with good cameras and surprisingly great battery life. This device is priced at 12,999 pesos, so check it out today. Moving on, we have the Infinix Note 40 Pro Plus 5G. This phone headlines the Note 40 series featuring a 6.70-inch curved AMOLED display protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5. This phone runs on Dimensity 7020 known for power efficiency with a configuration of 12GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage. The Note 40 Pro Plus 5G has a triple rear camera setup. This includes a 108MP main camera with OIS and lossless zoom paired with a 2MP macro and 2MP depth sensor. Users also get a 32MP front camera. 
frankly, it's fairly good under the photography department. Don't believe us? Here are our sample shots for you to judge. For battery, this phone packs a modest 4600 mAh, the 100 watts of fast charging, and 20 watts of wireless charging support. Also comes with the Infinix Mad Kit, inclusive of their Mad Padden case that supports its charging features. Since this phone shines in this department, here are our battery benchmarks for the Infinix Note 40 Pro Plus 5G. With its camera, charging, and performance, this phone is certainly a steal. It even covers essentials for a modest price that users could make the most out of. If you want a phone that's reliable and built to last, this phone is a perfect pickup for 2024. Not to mention, the new Infinix Note 40 Pro Plus 5G Racing Edition just came out for those who are interested. The phone's priced at 13,999 pesos available at Infinix Kiosk, Lazada, and Shopee. Moving on, we have the base Techno Cam on 35G. This phone has a 6.78-inch FHD Plus AMOLED screen with a refresh rate of 120Hz. It also runs on the powerful Helio G99 Ultimate chipset from MediaTek. For configs, the device has a variant up to 8GB of RAM and up to 512GB of internal storage. The Camon 30 features dual rear cameras. It has a 50MP main shooter with OIS and 2MP depth sensor. In addition, you just also get a 50MP camera at the front in the hole punch. This device packs a 5000 mAh battery with 70 watts of wired fast charging technology. The Cam 30 series provides consistent performance, a premium design, and great photo quality for its users. While this is the vanilla variant of the smartphone line priced at 13,999 pesos, it's not far from its premium models. Lastly, we have the Realme 12 5G. While this vanilla variant of the Realme 12 series was the last to come out, it's certainly not a slouch. This phone has a 6.72-inch FHD Plus AMOLED display with a refresh rate of 120Hz. Powered by the Dimensity 6100 with configs up to 8GB of RAM and up to 256GB of internal storage, the Realme 12 shines in the shooting department with its dual rear cameras. It sports a 108MP main shooter paired with a 2MP portrait camera. For taking selfies, the phone offers an 8MP front camera. Additionally, the Realme 12 can shoot videos up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. The phone carries a 5000mAh battery with 45 watts of super woof wired fast charging support. Overall, the Realme 12G has a good look, decent cameras and chipset, and an even better price point of 14,999 pesos. So that wraps up this list. Which phone do you think is the best? Let us know in the comments below. Also, do us a favor and hit that like button, ring the notification bell for more of our videos. Don't forget to follow us on the socials at Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok, and visit yogatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once more, I'm CJ, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Bye!